Hey, I just received a very interesting email from a Synology user that likes to save their PDFs whenever they post them on their website. When I say interesting, I mean this. They seem to be moving goalposts. They have edited those PDFs and changed the maximum values, how many iSCSI users you can have, how many files you can have on the Drive app, and so many other things. This could be a very big mis-selling issue because if you bought this NAS thinking you can have 100 users and after one year there's only two users allowed, I think there could be a big issue here. So I received these two PDFs. This is the old PDF for DS923. And for example, iSCSI mentions there's 128 uh, allowed. And if you go to the version, it says only two iSCSI targets are allowed. I also received PDFs for DS224 plus and the old version was 128 iSCSI targets and new one is two. So I put these PDFs into LLM and asked it to generate full report what has been changed. And here is a list of changes. So there is change in maximum users, local groups, shared folders. Some things are simply removed or hidden. So obviously iSCSI and LUN changes, their mail application, snapshots, some CCTV changes, Synology Drive users, Synology Drive maximum file numbers, Synology Office maximum users, VPN maximum connections. And regarding DS923 PDF changes, there's also changes regarding local users, local groups, shared folders, shared folder sync tasks, removed numbers about SMB connections, snapshot replication has changed, also iSCSI targets and LUNs, maximum VPN connections, Synology Drive, maximum users, also the maximum number of files in Synology Drive folder, Synology Office changes, some changes regarding Synology Mail. So it looks like Synology silently have changed a lot of things. This is not the first thing I've noticed myself. Regarding their vulnerabilities, they also do some changes in the background about CVE reports, but I never saw any changes regarding PDFs or I never paid attention to it. So thank you for sending me this email highlighting these changes that are done. And if you have some old PDFs, send them to me. I'm going to compare them as well. Maybe this is a big issue that nobody knows about. If you agree or disagree with me, do let me know. But I'm very curious what others think about this. Is this legal thing that they are doing or, or this is massive breach of consumer rights? What do you think? Let me know.